Hey, good Wednesday, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I was just thinking a little bit more about some of the topics we've been talking about the last four weeks when it comes to being unoffendable by people in life. Uh, and last Sunday, we talked quite a bit about forgiveness. And forgiveness is such an important concept for so many of us. But I want to remind you of these words that are found in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. It says, Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. And therein lies the ability for us to begin to forgive people appropriately because God says to forgive as Christ forgave us. And when I step back and remember how much God has forgiven me, when I look at my own life, my own failings, uh, the sin that's been in my life, the things that I have done that I know have hurt the heart of God, yet God stands ready to not be offended, but to forgive. And when I call upon him, when I ask for that forgiveness, he promises that he'll give it to me. And it doesn't mean I can just go on doing whatever I want to do. That's not what forgiveness is all about. I mean, I, I work to, to, with God and cooperate with his Holy Spirit to take those things out of my life. But when I offend him, he forgives. And we are to be like that. When we're offended, we're to forgive. And I want to remind you once again that forgiveness is not so much for the person who has offended us, but for ourselves. Because when we let go, which is really what we're doing, we're letting go, we're paying the bill, as we said Sunday, for the offense that was brought against us, it frees us and we can rest and we can put our head on the pillow at night and we can sleep because we don't have to carry the weight of the offense and the anger and the bitterness that it brings. We are set free by forgiveness. So today, I encourage you, forgive where you need to and make it the practice of your life. God bless you. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow. <music>